Okay, Shutter fans, here we're looking at a little like LCD display, which is the uh, main interface to my Shutter protection system based on Arduino. We have an Arduino Maker Wi Fi 1010 and an Arduino Uno, which is only purpose to, to simulate the wind sensor. And that's our system. We can see on the screen we have some controls. So we can control here the the wind speed. If you see, I'll type in, now we're going at two meters per second. And then this will be appear here on the screen on the cap on the uh, control system. So the when I set the wind speed, that's just the Arduino Uno. Now opening and closing a, a read relay at the proper speed. So, so we have here two meters per second is our speed. And this is the counter the hours, minutes, and seconds since the last uh, pulse from the wind sensor. These here are the, the limits for wind speed. So when the wind reaches 10 meters per second, the shutters will automatically open. And if the wind gets down again to six meters per second or lower for a certain amount of time, the shutters will then close again. This is the false. False means we have not opened the shutters and false, we have not closed the shutters. So the shutters are in basically any old state, the state they were in when they started. So as you can see that the limit is 10. So if now I set the wind speed to 11, we'll see what happens here. It doesn't recover that wind speed immediately. It takes a few seconds to get it because it's only computing wind speed every 10 seconds. So the current wind speed is calculated. Oh, now we're at 10.9 and we can see true. We have opened the shutters. So the shutters have been opened as we expected to protect them. So now I'm going to close, turn off the wind. So now the wind has suddenly been reduced and we're going to see what happens here. We were at 11, oh, we're down to five meters per second due to a computation error. And it's been five seconds since the last count on the wind sensor, the last pulse, now 15 seconds. And we got zero wind, 15 seconds. And if you, oh, now we see that we're calling, see, true means we're calling to shut the shutters. If, this, if the wind stays slow enough for a long enough time, the shutters will shut. We're at 25 seconds. I believe it's 30 seconds, the current limit, which is, of course, just for testing. And there we go, false and false. So that means the wind, the shutters have now shut because there, there's not enough wind to, to maintain their opening. However, what's going to happen if we don't get any signal for a long, long time? It's been 45 seconds since the last pulse, and we're going to see what happens if we go for a full minute with no, no information from the wind sensor. We're at 55 seconds, and then what? Alarm. So it's been one minute and three seconds, and we can hear that buzzer buzzing. That means there's been an alarm, and we better go and find out what's wrong with the wind sensor. So that's all the cool stuff on the, in this first video. Next time, we're going to look at how we can use the, the potentiometers, which you can see there, and the, switch, the push button. See those potentiometers and the push button? Those are used to change the thresholds. We'll see that in the next video. Thank you.